In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily embed TikTok feeds on your WordPress website in beautiful feeds like this. To do that, we'll be using the Smash Balloon TikTok Feed Pro plugin. The plugin allows you to create fast and responsive TikTok feeds in just a matter of minutes with no coding needed. To purchase and download TikTok Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download TikTok Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now, inside your dashboard, on the left-hand side, hover over Plugins and click on Add New Plugin. Next, click Upload Plugin at the top and upload the zip file for TikTok Feed Pro and click Install Now. Once installed, click on Activate Plugin. And now, TikTok Feed Pro has been installed and activated. But before we can create our first TikTok feed, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice TikTok Feed. Go ahead and click on that. Next, right here at the top, paste your license key from your Smash Balloon account and click on Activate. And there we go, our license key has now been activated so we can begin creating our TikTok feed. To get started, click on Add New. And for our first step, we'll have to add a source for our feed. Go ahead and click on Add Source. Next, click on Connect with TikTok. This will take you into TikTok, and if you're already logged in, you should see this page in front of you. If it's the correct account, you can go and click on Authorize. If not, you can go ahead and switch accounts and log into the account you want to display inside your feed. I'm going to click on Authorize, and here it's asking me to confirm if this is my domain. Go ahead and click on Yes, it's my domain. Once you've done that, you should now see your TikTok account as a source inside the plugin. You can select it like this and click Next. And for our final step, we'll have to select from one of these professionally designed templates for the layout of our TikTok feed. These allow you to create beautiful TikTok feeds without needing any design skills. You have options like the default, cards, list, latest video, and more. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with the cards template and click Next. And almost instantly, we have a beautiful preview of our new TikTok feed inside the plugin. All the latest TikToks from the account we connected are displayed inside this feed in the template that we selected. We can now go and embed this on our WordPress web page. But before we do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go click on Layout. At the top, you'll find different layout options for your feed. Currently, we have the grid layout selected, which displays your videos in rows and columns like this. Next, we have the list layout, which displays your videos in a single column list. Third is a masonry layout, which displays your videos in rows and columns once again, but with the captions and the original sizes. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which allows site visitors to swipe through your TikToks like this. For this video, I'm going to stick with the grid layout. And if you look below, you can also choose how many posts you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, we're displaying 10 posts, but if you wanted to change that, all you have to do is type in the number of posts you want to display. For example, I've changed it to six posts, and you can see now inside the live preview that it's only displaying six posts. Underneath that, you can also choose how many columns you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile as well. Currently, we're displaying three columns inside the feed, but if you wanted to change that, all you have to do is modify it like this. And once again, the change has been made instantly inside the live preview on the right hand side. I'm going to change that back to three. And once you're happy with the layout of your TikTok feed, go click on save on the top right corner. Next, at the top of your feed, you'll find the header. This area is completely customizable too. Once again, under the Customize tab, go click on Header, and inside you'll find all the different options to modify the header. At the top, you have a toggle to enable or disable the header if you'd like to. Currently, it's enabled. And below that, we have all the different elements inside the header, such as the profile picture, name, username, and more. All these elements can be enabled or disabled as well. For example, if you wanted to hide the profile picture, all you have to do is uncheck the profile picture over here. And instantly, we've hidden the profile picture inside the header. Let me bring that back. This way, you can customize your TikTok feed header to suit the exact look you want for your website. And if you made any changes, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. And if you wanted to customize how the individual videos are displayed inside your feed, under the Customize tab, go click on TikToks. Next, click on Edit Individual Elements. Inside, you'll find all the different elements displayed alongside your videos, such as the video thumbnail, play icon, views, likes, and caption. Similar to the header, you can choose the exact elements you want to display inside your feed. For example, if you wanted to hide the video thumbnail, all you have to do is uncheck it like this, and all your video thumbnails are hidden now. We can bring that back, and if you wanted to hide the play icon over here, you can uncheck it on the left, and that will hide all the play icons on your TikToks. I'm going to leave that enabled, and if you make any changes inside this menu, make sure to click Save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want control over the TikToks you display inside your feed, go into the Settings tab and click on Filters. Inside this menu, you can add words to hide or show TikToks containing those words. And if we go back into Settings and click on Sort, you can choose to sort your TikToks based on most recent, oldest, most views, and most likes. Alternatively, if you want to show fresh content to your site visitors each time, you can go with the randomize option over here and toggle that on. As you can see, it's now randomly sorted your TikToks inside your feed. I'm going to switch that off. With these filtering and sorting options, you have control of the exact content you want to display inside your TikTok feed. And once again, if you made any changes, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your TikTok feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress web page. To do that, go click on embed on the top right corner, copy a dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. Now on your page, go ahead and add a shortcode block and paste the shortcode that you just copied earlier like this. Next, if we click on update and check out our live web page, 
you should now see your brand new TikTok feed that you just created embedded inside your WordPress web page. All the latest TikToks from the account you created are displayed inside this feed, and they come complete with a number of views, number of likes, and the caption below the post as well. If a site visitor wanted to watch the video, they could click on it like this, and it will open up that video directly inside your WordPress web page. At the top of your feed, you have the header, and on the right hand side, you also have a follow on TikTok button. If site visitors click on that, that will take them directly to your TikTok page. And lastly, if you scroll down to the bottom of your TikTok feed, you'll find the load more button. If you click on that, you will load even more TikToks directly on your WordPress web page. And that's how we create an embedded TikTok feed on your WordPress website. But if you're wondering if we can do the same on the sidebar or footer of the website, we definitely can. Let me show you how. Back inside the plugin, I've just created a second TikTok feed in a carousel layout for the footer of our website. To embed this on our site, go click on embed once again, copy your dedicated shortcode, and instead of clicking on add to a page, since we're embedding it inside our footer, go click on add to a widget. And here we are inside the WordPress widgets menu. And to embed our TikTok feed inside the footer of our website, click on the plus icon here, add a shortcode block, and paste the shortcode that you just copied earlier. Now we can click on update and check out what it looks like on the live WordPress web page. Here we are on our live WordPress web page once again, and right in the middle, we have that TikTok feed we created earlier. And if I scroll down to the bottom, inside the footer of our website, we have a second TikTok feed. This one is just as fast and as responsive as the first one, but it's now embedded inside the footer of our website. So you now know how to create and embed TikTok feeds both on your WordPress web page and inside the footer as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you run into any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to Smash Balloon to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.